Solar Flares from Stereo Alley at 79. Uh, here, uh, ahead of that was, uh, indeed, we digress with two birds, one bush. In the midst, oh, excuse me, in the midst <laughs> of the nooner. I don't know, I put my headphones on and everything falls apart. Ah! Uh, it's 22 minutes past the hour on this 20th day of April. Oh, my God. I can't believe it's already. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's almost time we get out of here in a little bit. The chumps will be here. And since it's April the 20th, I'm sure they'll have all your pot news for you. So, you know. Oh, like, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, whatever. I've got science news on the way. Yes? It has nothing to do with pot. Oh. But it's amusing. It's, oh, okay. It's cookies. Oh. No. Yeah. That has to do with pot. Yeah, in a way. Um, I have, uh, I have, uh, I have crime time on the way. I have that guy, this guy in a, in a way. Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> it's a stout one. And I have this. Um, it turns out, I guess from some sort of study, I, I, this is, come, this comes to us from the Toronto Sun. Okay. Newspaper. I don't know if they're, I guess they're, I don't think they're related to the actual sun. No, 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 no. It's wrong sign. No, no. This is a different deal. Yeah. Um, about a study that's fringy, I guess, at best. And it says here, it has one caveat. And this, the results from this come from self reported data. So there's a, there's, okay. there's a skewing here. Yeah, there's got to be. Yes. Um, online pharmacy from Mars used Google data from 86 countries to conduct a study on penis size around the planet. And if you want to buy into this, there's some pretty hard truths. What? Yes. The study reviewer, pharmacist Navin Kolsla, 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 Gavin. Navin, excuse me, Navin Johnson, maybe Navin. Uh, he, Navin here said that whether people are concerned about the size or the shape or any other aspect for that matter, most of us have wondered at some point or another whether ours is big enough. He said penis can have a massive impact on confidence and self-image. Yeah, which is really weird because... Almost nobody gets to see it. And, and <laughs> why much. would you worry about it? Well, because it, you do. I know. It's weird. Yeah, well, uh, being that this comes to us from Toronto, there's his, the, we're going to start there. The good news is that members from the Great White North should be standing erect with pride, it says here. <laughs> the average size of the Canadian junk came in in 12th in the world, uh, whereas here in the United States, the Yankee Doodle Dong came in at 59th. Here's the rest of the findings. Men in Ecuador are the planet's most well-endowed with an average size of 6.93 inches while erected. Coming in second. Wait, wait, wait. What? That, was, that was erect. Yes. Okay. Coming in second <laughs> is Cameroon with an average size of 6.56 inches, followed by Bolivia at 6.5 inches. Also in the big five are Sudan and Haiti. What's in the diet there? <laughs> Bananas. <laughs> Cambodia, dead last. 3.95 inches with Taiwan and the Philippines rounding out the bottom three. Okay. Canada, Tied in 12th with Angola at 6.19 inches. The United States 59th ranking was 5.35 inches. While the Brits, oh, 66th place with 5.17 inch talent. Yeah, I don't know how he did this from Google, though. He didn't. It was self-reported. We want you to be a part of a survey. You know, how big's your pecker? Well, it's, you know, up and running. Well, if it's anonymous, they might be honest, but I doubt it. <laughs> um, now this does leave open the possibility that participants may have taken some liberties with their assessments, but that's the whole sort of the point here. They're, if if they're fudging at five inches, then you know, yeah, right, right, yeah. Well, um, yeah. So there's that. So, so the question here: Does size really matter? Navin said, ultimately, the answer is maybe, maybe not. 
the truth is that the owner of the junk is far more likely to be worried about the size of their penis than their sexual partners are. Yeah. This stuff comes up into the news all comes up. I know. Into uh-huh. the news all the time. And when it does, the answer is always the same. Yeah. It really is. It's, you know. It doesn't matter. Who, whoever is and encountering it is the one that is. It's subjective. Yes, much like art. Art. <laughs> Thanks, I hate it. Put your pants back on. <laughs> I think I'm just flashing on that scene from The Hangover Part 2 where they wake up. <laughs> What's his name? Uh that actor, the Asian actor who's in it with him. Oh, yeah. I know who you're talking about. I can't think of his name. <laughs> they got the monkey. Yeah. And it's licking a mushroom. Uh-huh. And it's not a mushroom. It's not it's a mushroom. It's penis. It's just it's hilarious. hilarious. Kind of gross, but yeah. They're, they're I know, that that so was the whole funny. point of those films anyway. <laughs> they were just terrible. I loved yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> I have been privy... <laughs> As a witness to conversations between women discussing these matters. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've been around them, too. And, yeah. and you know, when it comes to this subject matter, women are blunt. Oh, yeah. They don't. Yeah. No, they don't. They don't cut any corners. No, they don't. And they are, I guess, relatively honest, I suppose. Yeah. I guess when you're dealing with something like that. And I remember one girl saying that that she had been, you know, had been seeing this guy, and she kind of liked him. And it came time to take him for a test drive, if yeah. you will. And things didn't quite measure up to her expectations. And she's like, "I can't do anything with that." That's the way she said it. She saw she saw him standing there naked, and she goes, "I I, I can't do anything with that." And I felt bad for this guy. I didn't even know his name. I didn't know who he was. You know. She didn't give a like a measurement or something. No, she didn't. She just she just left it at that, and I guess at risk of coming across as a size queen, which I guess well, she sort yeah, of is. Yeah, obviously. I mean, the guy had like a, you know, he 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 checked all the boxes. You know, he had a good job. Yeah, yeah. You know, he was a responsible guy. He wasn't a felon. You know, he. he so we get down to brass tacks. Yes, and she and sees him, done. and she goes. Yeah, I can't. I can't do anything with that. And and I, I didn't. I didn't get involved in this conversation. Right, right, right. It wasn't my part to do that. Sure. Well, I really was just going to let this unfold. Yeah, and the other right. girls are going. Oh, oh, I had that experience too. So it's like code with these women. Yeah, yeah. That that's what comes up or doesn't. Right. Right. I've also had been around when they're talking. Yes. And and they've talked about larger. And they're like, oh, God, that's not going in there. No. No, you're not doing that. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so it's it's so funny to hear them talk about it. Yes, it is. That's why women go to the bathroom in groups. Yeah, that's, oh, that's, completely. Because that, that's what they're talking about in there. Yes. They need that they every, need a spot. Oh, yeah. Because right, they don't want right. to sit they on that. fall in. Or, yeah, or they don't want to sit on that thing. <laughs> Here, hold my hands. But sometimes if you're in the right place at the right time, you are privy to said conversations and you you, you can't, you're not, it is not your place to interject as a man. Well, and they may know you're sitting there listening to this. Right. Because it wasn't right, my case. Right. They did not ask my opinion, nor did I volunteer one. Oh, well, I, I was sat there, included was like, uh, in conversations. Oh, really? Um, I was the minority at my last job. Right. There were, I think there were three men that worked at this school. Right. Uh, and the other two were married to teachers that worked there. Right, so, right. Know, so there you I was a, I was a lone man. And when the women would talk woman stuff, uh-huh. they were talking about their vaginas going back in place after giving birth. And Yeah, and, no, I'm, and, well, I'm going to no, go outside. Yeah. But, you know, I had a child and I, I was, I, 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 I experienced some of the same stuff they did without the body stuff. Right. And they noticed I was standing there. And I said, hey, it's okay. They were like, oh, God, we're so sorry, yeah, Mr. George. Yeah, yeah. It must be embarrassing. I said, just treat me like one of the girls. Well, that gave them carte blanche to say anything. In That's front opening of me. quite the door there. Dude, dude. Yeah. I heard stuff about uh, menstrual flow. Uh, uh, I heard 
descriptions of vaginas. I heard stuff you should never hear in a workplace. <laughs> Let alone that kind of topic. But oh well, the, the but teachers when, yeah, just the, when we were sitting around in a room, they just, just just started talking stuff. That goes back to my point about women being very blunt when it comes to these sorts right, of things, right. because all of these girls they have that language, they understand that. I mean, yeah. they they have they have reference to go with, and when it comes to dealing with the fellas, they're just as blunt. And when you're sitting there listening to this, you go, wow, wow. Wow, y'all put that much thought into this. Yeah, yeah. Guys don't. No, guys don't, no. <laughs> we just look for a place to air it out every right, once in a while. Exactly. Do some shadow puppets, right, maybe. Little... <laughs> look, I can make a Yoda. <laughs> look, balloon animals. Ouch. <laughs> there's there's a there's a there's a there's a bunch of artists in France that do that. It's it's all over <laughs> They've got oh. they've gotten in trouble for it. But yeah, it's, well, it's shadow puppetry with junk. But <laughs> I digress. Uh, no, that's that's what those conversations are like, and it's uh, it's amusing. <laughs> I bet it really is. Because <laughs> you just sit there and you go, "This poor bastard." What the hell? This poor guy had to face the reality that, that was going through this woman's head. Um, conversely. I, I know a guy. He's in. He's in. He's in. Show, he's in show business. He's a. He's a little guy. Hmm. A little person. Yes. A dwarf. Hmm. Dare I say midget? Because he said it. Yeah. Right. Not that it gives me carte blanche to say that, but he. he was well, like, yeah, yeah. 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 Fuck it. I don't care. And he's. I asked him once. We were. We were having some beer somewhere. I said, "Do you ever have any?" You know, issues when it comes to wanting to date anybody. I mean, I don't mean to be insensitive here, but is that? A thing? He goes, "Are you kidding me?" He says, "Man, women throw themselves at me." I said, "Really?" And he said, "Yes, they do." It's. He said, "I'm a novelty act." Yes. He said, "They always want to say they did it one, one time." time with I will, a he, he goes, "I'm like the guy with the biggest dick in the room. I'm always going to be tried once." Once. He goes, and I have the pick of the litter. Right. <laughs> So really? And he goes, oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. I bet that's true, too. It man. is true. It's got to be. Yeah. Yeah. And his eyes lit up. He's like, oh, hell yeah. He goes, I could probably pick uh, anybody. Any right. Right. If you find you a big girl, he goes, I'll climb her like Mount Everest. 